Hello! In this video, you'll learn more about digital ads. Immarsys Digital Ads is an integration between SAP Immarsys and the supported social and advertising networks, TikTok, Facebook, and Google Ads. Digital Ads allows you to use the wealth of omnichannel behavior data available in SAP Immarsys to target your contacts more effectively on these social networks. You can reach contacts who have not yet visited your website, responded to your content, or are otherwise unreachable. You can also capture new leads by using lookalike audiences who share similarities with your most active segments. Digital Ads finds your existing customers on social networks by matching their profiles and allows you to effectively target them via automated and ad hoc data-driven advertising campaigns. Let's take a look at our use case. Some visitors browse and register on your website but don't make a purchase. So you want to identify the leads likely to convert and drive their first purchase with a simple and attractive ad. Here's how to do it with digital ads. First, I navigate to digital ads where the main tabs are dashboard, lead ads, audiences, and ad accounts. I start at the ad accounts tab to connect a new ad account. You can create multiple connections if your business is operating multiple social ad accounts. To create a new one, simply click on Create New Connection, then use a social ad account you're already logged into, or create a new one. Once the accounts are synchronized, you will see the account name, account user, account ID, status, and created date. If you're setting up a Facebook connection, click on the cog icon to configure the conversion types that contribute to your conversion and revenue reporting. For disconnecting an account, just click here. I have all accounts set and synchronized. Let's move to the Lead Ads tab. Lead Ads are a great way to acquire new contacts. Once you've created the Lead Ad on the Ad Network, you can connect the Lead Ad form directly to SAP Amarsis. Contacts who submit the Lead Ad are created or updated in SAP Amarsis, add it to a contact list, and trigger an event so you can target them with tailored welcome programs. To create a Lead Ad subscription, click this button and choose an ad network. Then select your ad account, page, or campaign, and your existing lead ad form. After mapping the fields, you can check the final settings and save. Now let's look at the Audiences tab. An audience is a group that you target with your ad campaigns in your social network. Here you can see the list of the created audiences with their names, types, and the ad accounts they're connected to. The status can be many things according to your network connectivity and state of the audience and your ads. For example, in case of too few contacts, the audience size is too small, so you need to increase it. Ready when the network audience has been created and it's ready for you to target with your ads. Live when you have launched the ad. And there are other specific status types. The sync interval column shows how often the audience will refresh, depending on the type of audience and the network. The size of the audience is important because this will be the amount of people you're trying to target with your ad. The match rate reflects how many contacts from your original segment were found by the networks. Then you see when the audience was created, when it was last synced to the network, and you can also manage your audiences or check the audience level reporting. Let's create a new audience. I click on Create Audience and can choose my network. I can choose one of three audience types. Automation audiences are populated when contacts reach the Digital Ads Add to Audience node in an automation program. We're going to use this for our Convert Hot Leads use case. Segment audiences target a segment, matching contacts based on the selected option. Since we want to target contacts through an omnichannel automation program, we won't be using this type of audience this time. Lookalike audiences allow you to take an existing audience and ask the ad network to find similar customers. For example, if you're using Smart Insight, you can use a segment of high spenders to create a segment audience and then use that audience to create a lookalike so you can find more potential high spenders. I select Automation. Then I add an audience name, a description, and select the contact matching criteria. I then click Save. This will bring me back to my Audiences page where I can see my new audience. Now let's use this audience in a program. I navigate to the Automations Overview, find the program I created from a tactic, and click Edit to access the flow of the program. 
I have a recurring node because I'd like to run this program daily. Then a segment with the leads who are likely to purchase followed by an email, wait, exclude segment with contact who purchased, and another email node. After that, I have further channel nodes. First, a web channel add node, then a digital ads add to audience node. For this, I need to select the automation audience I just created. Once the audience reaches the minimum number of users, it will be used to display an ad. After waiting 5 to 20 days, I check if the contacts made a purchase and then use the digital ads remove from audience node to stop showing them the ad as well as the web campaign. In case they didn't purchase yet, I let the audience run for a few more days. And I activate the program. Now let's take a look at the reporting pages. I navigate to the digital ads dashboard. Here all the displayed data is coming from your social and advertising networks. You can select the network and the time period. The first one shows the total revenue coming from purchases and how much the campaigns have cost you. Next to that, return on ad spend is the overall value of digital ads to your business. The conversion breakdown widget shows you cost per mile, click, and action metrics and a chart with impressions, clicks, and conversions. At the Lead Ads widget, you can see the number of subscription forms and how many new and existing leads have subscribed using your lead ad forms. The last widget shows the connection status to your networks and a summary of the digital ads feature that you're currently using. If you'd like to check these KPIs and individual performance of an audience, just go to Audiences and click on the reporting icon. And this is Digital Ads. I hope you enjoyed this session and thank you for your attention.